welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're covering the Hilo stage of the Tiger Valley two-man match of 2019. Okay, so we left the shoot house under the guidance of one of the IROs about where we were supposed to go next. Told us to head over to the Hilo, so that's what we did. Once again, there's no squad integrity at this point, although squads are starting to self-form back up. So we go over to the Hilo, and this is where things start to really improve. The ROs running this stage gave very detailed stage brief. There was no doubt about what you were supposed to do. Uh, and a quick brief was you had a body of a Huey helicopter, which a plus for props, that is very cool. It's obviously been gutted and they had to put in um, you know, folding chairs to, in place of the pilot seats, but that didn't do anything to distract from the uh, coolness of the prop. Uh, and you, your teammates had to go into each side of the pilot's doors and you had a series of knockdown plates that you had to engage with your pistols. Once those plates were down, you showed clear, holstered your pistol, which would become key later on in the stage here, and then all the paper targets had to be engaged with your rifle with two rounds, uh, two A-zone hits, but as many rounds as it took to get it. Um, and then you ran back to the hula hoop that you started in. To give you a uh, pretty good perspective of how this stage ran, uh, we're going to show the handheld camera view uh, in its entirety, and when that's over, we're going to switch over to uh, my aim cam view. And the reason we're doing this is, one, we want you to get a really good comprehensive view of what this stage is like, and you really need to see both views in their entirety uninterrupted to really uh, grasp what it was like. And it was a great stage, by the way, a good stage design. All right. You're ready. Ready. Stand by. Go. Get that drum. Yeah, I saw it. That wasn't clear, but okay. Okay, that was the handheld view. Now let's go ahead and have the aim cam view. All right. You ready? Ready. Stand by. Go. Got him all bad. Got him. Let's go. Oh, oh my oh, no. Fuck. All right, and there you see the tragedy of it. My pistol came out of the holster. Very frustrating, and as you can tell, I was very angry um, because it's something that shouldn't have happened. And I was a little bewildered how it happened. Uh, if you pay attention to the aim cam view there, you hear the holster, uh, you, excuse me, you hear the pistol lock into the holster. You hear it snap in and you can hear the bail closed. The bail, I admit, is literally difficult to hear, but you do hear the pistol locking in. Um, and this is uh, something that shouldn't have popped loose. And, you know, one of the tests I did before going out there was testing, you know, will the thing, I jumped up and down, I did all kinds of stuff with the bail closed and opened. And I never encountered this problem. And, you know, I was really upset about this. Um, 
And it turned out later, as the stage was going on, what was happening is the whole holster was doing a slow motion self-destruct. Yeah, I know that sounds really weird, but that's literally what was happening. First off, while we're waiting there and helping out pasting targets, somebody said something and I turned and both my teammate and I heard a pop. And we looked down and the bales open on my pistol. Closed it, turned again and pop. It popped itself open. It's like, this is not good. Well, and I noticed the bale was very loose and wobbly and everything and noticed it was unscrewing itself. Did some field expedient repairs and made a point that, hey, when we get back tonight, since this is our last stage, we've got to really do some uh, repairs on this holster. Um, we finish up the stage. Uh, we've helped paste it up. You know, we think our squad's through. We're walking back to our truck, and as soon as we get there, literally the bale falls off the holster. Um, and another screw was almost ready to come out. So, you know, screwed the holster back together. When we got back to our house that night, we uh, went through and double-checked, tightened everything, and uh, the holster was able to get through the rest of the match. Still very frustrating when you take a penalty and, you know, you're not sure why at the beginning of how something happened, and then to find out your gear is literally self-destructing. It's frustrating. Nothing you can do about it. It's nothing against the stage design. It's nothing against the ROs. It's not a rule failure. It's an equipment failure. And, you know, when you're in that situation, being stuck with what you have kind of destroys your confidence in the gear. Because while our repairs did work for the remaining three stages the next day, you just were always worried about it. And, you know, like when I was running on the other stages and stuff, you know, my hand was firmly clamped on the holster just in case. And... That particular holster, my confidence destroyed it. I'll never use it in a match again. And we'll cover that holster in depth when we do our gear review at the end of this series. So this is a case where props really helped out in the stage. You know, it was really neat that they had a very simulated Huey on the obstacle course stage mounted on springs to simulate a uh, hovering helicopter. Here they had the actual body of a Huey. Yes, it was gutted. Yes, it was a little lower on the ground than it would be if it was on its landers, landing skids, which could simulate a crashed helo if you really wanted to get that into it. But this is where prop really, really added to the shooting experience because without the prop, you just literally have an array of targets and you're engaged in a drag race. So, you know, kudos to Tiger Valley on this one. This was a good use of props. All right, time for some bonus content here. Uh, my good friend Andy uh, was at Desert Brutality last year and got stuck in a car obstacle. And one of the things that we all regret, including Andy, is that we didn't get any video of it because it was, frankly, hilarious. Uh, so when I saw this stage came up, I looked at Andy and said, Hey, dude, I'm taking some video. And he said, Absolutely. So, MJ, this one's for you. Andy. We made a correct decision. Stand by. We're in the right place. We just Go.
Show clear. Stand by. Clear. Go ahead, go. Clear. Clear. We hope you found our coverage of the Gila stage of the Tiger Valley two-man match helpful and informative. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in tomorrow as we work our way through the rat trap.